hi everyone in this video I'm going to show you how to make an optical illusion uh, where the dot seems to be like moving in a wave pattern so let's start so to start with the first thing I need to do is I will increase the size of my canvas and let's say it's 700 700 and then I'm going to do the next thing which is I will make the background to be blackish and let's test this out we have the grayish blackish kind of a background we got it here and after that I am going to start making what we have to make okay to start with the first thing we have to do after this is we are going to make a for loop so we are going to make the for loop and inside that for loop we are going to make the ellipse so let's give the specifications parameters and that let i is equals to 50 because we want the uh, first ellipse to be starting from 50 position here and then we want our i to be less than the width of the canvas and a bit more less let's say minus 45 less and these are all just the adjustments you are doing nothing else and then we are going to say that i we want our ellipses to be appearing with some uh, distance in between them so 50 is the distance which i want it to be there so let's make off ellipse so the first ellipse i'm going to make let's say set my position and it's 50 in the y and it's of 25 size and 25 size within height so that's it so you can see clearly yeah and let's give the color and the stroke and the stroke weight to it also so let's say the fill is green so we will say 0 168 and then 0 and the same way I want to give it a bluish color stroke also so I will say that 0 comma 0 comma 150 so to doing that only one thing is left let's give it a stroke weight also and let's say the stroke weight is 3 in this okay so let's see our first group of ellipses how they will appear save it and you can see our first group of ellipses appeared here and it's at the position of uh, 50 in the y position and in the i it is starting from 50 and properly arranged okay now i want more of the ellipses appearing on the whole screen and for that i'm going to make a nested loop that means a for loop inside a for loop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the same thing which i have written here just i am going to change the variables from i to j so let's see this and i am going to add below another curly bracket for closing and then i am going to write let j is equals to 50 just like the previous one and everything remains the same g is less than now this time we are going to write height because with y height we have to adjust so y 
minus 45 and j is plus is equals to and should be at distance of 50 as well okay now I'm going to replace this 50 with the j here and now I go to check again and now you can see I have the circles appearing in the white also so this is our first group of ellipses we have made and you can see the ellipses are not moving at all and there is nothing happening here so let's make them move moving so for making them moving the first thing I need to do is I need to make them I have to make multiple arcs and for making the arcs before making the arcs I need to make uh, put this uh, code inside the push and pop and then I will start making the rest of it so the other code for the arc will also come inside the push and the pop So we will be making at least two kinds of arcs. So for that I'm going to sorry I've written pop first. I need to write push as well. There you go. That's better. Okay, so in this we will have all the things similar. It's just we have to add some things which are different so let's start from the first one so inside the push and pop we will be making an arc and the arc needs to have some dimensions so let's start with the dimension let's say the first is zero with that zero zero position and sorry before making the arc I need to give it a translate as well so because we need to make these arcs rotate so for that reason I need to give them the translate and the translate is required to rotate in the 2d um, objects so the translate will have the i and j values in it so I'm going to put the I and the J inside it and now I'm going to say the arc is rotating and its X and Y is the same as the translate origin point and this translate will not affect this one because it's inside the portion of the pop okay now we have the arc of 30 N 30 and we want to make a arc which is going from 0 and it's not the pi only it's or you can say it's a pi just write pi first and let's see how it appears okay this much we have done and let's see uh, we didn't give it a color so let's give it a color first that's very important so we give it a stroke and a stroke is I want to give it a teal color so for the teal color I need to give it 0 168 comma 168 that's the teal color and I need to give it a stroke weight as well so the stroke will will be same as the previous one so I'm just going to take it from here and give the stroke weight here as well and apart from that I don't need the fill in this so I'm going to say no fill okay. 
okay let's start and you can see the arcs are appearing and there is no rotation but the arcs are appearing okay in the same way we need to make another of the uh, arcs so I will just copy the same ones from here so I will stop this because when we make the for loop the editor gets slowed down so uh, if you stop the editor and then write it down it's much faster so I'm going to stop that and now I can write it inside so the translate is again ing the fill, there is no fill the stroke weight is, is still 3 and we need to change the stroke color so now the stroke color will be 255 and 255 this will be uh, something greenish blue color and this time the arc also is a little bit uh, in fact it's the same size of the ellipse so it will be 25 and 25 so the biggest arc is the one which we have made here and then we have made the arc of the same size as the ellipse and this one the change here the other change is is pi by pi and then zero okay so now if we check now you can see the arc is appearing is on the upper side here the bigger one is here and the dark blue line is the outline of the ellipse okay now to make it dynamic up till now there is no movement you can see there is no illusion of circles moving but now you'll see how it will be working so I'm going to stop this again I, so I can faster the work and now I will make the angle variable global variable of angle which I will be initiating with a zero done and now at the very end of it the for loop outside the all the push and pops I'm going to say that angle plus is equals to and we want our circles not to be moving very fast so I'm going to give it this number and now I'm going to put the rotates inside these two arcs so after the fill or after the uh, translate let's put the rotate so it's much easier to see because they are related to each other so the rotate will be I want one rotation to go half pi and it will take the it will add it to the i variable so it will keep increasing the half pi slowly slowly and it will minus the angle and multiply it by 3 so this is uh, something which I have experimented and I want to show you that how you can make your uh, this illusion yourself so let's use that so half pi and then going to plus i and minus we are doing the angle and then we are going to multiply this angle by 3 so now after doing that if I save and then I run you can see the outer one moves outer arc is moving the bigger arc is moving now stop this and let's put another rotate in and this time again we are going to put it under the translate 
and this one we are going to say that rotate I want my rotate to go just quarter by quarter pi multiply by j the value in the variable j and then we are going to add this value to the angle so it goes faster in that one it was uh, getting slower and in this one it will go faster and I'm going to multiply it by 4 this time so after doing this let's try this out again save it and let's try this out and you can see the circles started to be appearing like a wavy pattern although they are not moving the ellipse the initial ellipse is not moving it's just the arcs who are moving and giving the illusion that the whole set of circles are moving in a wave pattern so this is how you can make the illusion of dot illusion or circle illusion, anything you can say. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Bye.